Hello and welcome to another Adobe Training Tip of the Month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. Today I'm in Adobe Photoshop CC and I'm just going to show you how to slice up images for the web. This was something that somebody had, had requested, so here's a, a video just for you. You know who you are. I'm going to show you how to slice up your Photoshop web design or any graphics for that matter to export for either HTML or just a quick way to export your images. So what I recommend first is for us to press Command R or view rulers. So your rulers are on. And I can use these rulers to kind of define the space of where I'm going to be drawing my slices. So for instance, I'm going to have a slice here to divide the top part from the main navigation. I can zoom in with Command Plus and press the Command key over this guide to position it more accurately. Looks like I got pretty lucky there. Okay, I'll zoom out with a zoom tool. I'll use more guides to section off maybe this whole area here as my banner section. And I'll use a guide right here for the bottom to cut these images up here. And I'll add a guide from the side to divide these in half. That way when I'm placing my slices I could have view snap to guides on and I can start drawing my slices. So my slice tool is underneath the crop tool. I click and hold underneath the crop tool I'll see slice tool and I can just click and drag as I would the marquee to create a slice. And a slice would be my exported graphic. That's going to be helping me export this image and I'll slice out the middle. That'll be my main banner. And I'll slice out this top area for my number. I'll slice out the Registrator Now button. And I can even slice out the image itself separate from the whole area. So the image itself, I'm going to want it to be a graphic so I can import that in into a slideshow or use it on my other pages or just use it as a template of where my the space for the image will be. Then I can also slice out the entire space in here pressing the command key to nudge it over so it'll take a little longer to do this to be accurate, but that's good enough for, my, for me for now. So there's also a slice select tool. If I click and hold, you'll see slice select. And what that does is it enables me to select and either adjust the handles or to double click to open up the slice options panel. Here I could name my graphic. I know this will be a, a logo. That's my logo, so I'll call that logo. I can even link it, which means I'm doing HTML right here within Photoshop. So I could link that to my index page. It's pretty much a standard in web design that your logo on the top left automatically links to your home page. And it's also standard for index.htm to be your home page, unless you're, of course, you're using HTML, which is fine as long as you're consistent, or PHP or some other scripting language. The target is, is going to be the browser it's going to open up in. So this is a link to my own website. So I'm going to leave that blank. So it just automatically loads into the same browser. And then the alt tag is alternate text for accessibility reasons, for people that are blind, that have screen readers, read back to them text. And it's also possibly a good place for search engine optimization. I'll press OK. If I'm in the slice tool, I could also just simply press the command key, which gives me the slice select tool. I can then double click and name this a header. And that won't need a link. And maybe my alt tag would be Adobe Certified Instructors. And I could just go ahead and name each graphic and make, make each slice for my whole page. When I'm ready, I can just go File, Save for Web. Now I'm able to select every single one of these slices individually and optimize them for the web. So these are bitmaps. Bitmaps are made up of pixels, and therefore bitmaps are large in file size. So the original image of Kiros here you'll see is 3 megs. 
but I'm going to get this one down, this one image itself, it's down to almost 10K already. So I'm going to make that into a GIF, because a GIF is better for solid lines of color. I could optimize it more, but that would be a different video. So I'm going to use my space bar, just like in Photoshop, I can move it along, and this one would probably optimize well as a GIF, solid lines of color. Um, I could have even sliced out my, my center here, these, these uh, navigation, but I did it to save some time. I could choose this. This is probably good as a JPEG, and this one could be a GIF. And my main banner here, that would be a good JPEG. And you get the idea along the way, I would just optimize everything. Once I'm done optimizing and selecting every single image, I'll press Save. I'll save it out, save my optimized, maybe to my desktop or a certain folder. I'll make it easy, I'll make a new folder for us, and we'll call this Slicing Up Photoshop Files. I'll create that. I can just call this page Index. And right now you see it's, it's an image, because I'm, I'm only slicing right now, what I'm doing is slicing out all the images. But what I could do is select here Format and slice out the HTML and the images. I could keep the default settings and slice out all of the slices and then press save. I'll go to my desktop and here it is slicing up Photoshop file. And there's my images that have all been sliced out. The ones that I named, header and logo, of course, we recognize. And then if I double click it, it'll open up into Google and we will see my web page. I have to center it, but you'll see it fits within every, everywhere and the logo is already linked and it can take me to my home page. And you'll see this is all exported, so all my images are now sliced up and it created the HTML for me for this web page. I'm able to export into tables and I can also export my Photoshop files and slices into divs and CSS. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.